Hey, Tim here, and thanks for tuning in to a journal entry. Uh, I record these journal entries and just kind of share some thoughts that are off the top of my head. And, you know, I hope they inspire. I hope they cause you maybe to pause and think. Um, but also, sometimes I selfishly seek advice and insights because I might be stuck. Today, I'm maybe a little stuck on something. I have a case, a bad case of the what ifs. You might be asking, well, well, what the heck is that, Tim? What is the uh, the what ifs? And and it's just that. What if? Do you ever get into a mindset of what if? In the negative sense. What if it won't work out? What if it doesn't get better? What if it rains when I want it to be sunny? What if, what if, what if? And I've shared a bit about my struggles uh, with what ifs. Uh, mostly around my mental health, uh, my life with Crohn's disease, living with arthritis. But I can say over the past number of weeks, and, and I feel like I've, I've found a prescription for the what ifs, and I'll share that in a minute here. But, you know, it's been, it's been an interesting challenge. A number of organizations have reached out and, and I've said yes to everything. Uh, organizations have reached out to say, hey, Tim, we, we want you to bring a workshop into our organization. We want to talk about invisible conditions. We love the stories. Um, they're making an impact. You know, sidebar, thank you to my amazing guests and people who've written uh, their interviews and, and have contributed. Uh, but, you know, through this journey, it's been pretty exciting to see opportunities come up. But that self-saboteur, you know, I sabotage myself all the time. Well, what if the workshop doesn't work out? What if I don't get a good review? What if I, I can't come up with material enough to fill that 90 minutes? What if I say the wrong thing? It came to a point where I wanted to just take down my services page on my site and just say, you know what, I don't know if I can do this. But a good friend of mine, she had given me some interesting insight and she said, well, why do you let that internal saboteur, that, that voice that sabotages things, have space? And I sat back and I thought about this and and. You know, I was questioning, why? Why do I allow this to happen? Maybe you are struggling with this right now. Why do you allow that voice to happen? What if I don't heal? What if I can't make it to the washroom? What if, what if, what if? You know, I put out a newsletter this week and or recently and, and talked about about this, this idea of turning a what if into a what if. And that might sound obscure, but hear me out a sec. How many of us look at the world through that negative lens or our situation through that negative? And, and I get it. There are seasons of life where it's, it's a negative, but there's also seasons of life where it's a positive. What if the workshop does land? What if it resonates with people. What if one person reaches out and says, hey, I need to know more? Now that is looking at it from an optimistic point of view, but let's back up a minute. What if it doesn't land? My good friend, Matt Gould, uh, I'll link him in the show notes because he's somebody you need to follow. He says, so what now? So what now? Not everything in life is going to work out the way we want it to. You know, many people know that I am grounded by my value of faith. And I know that as much as I try and get my life to where I want it to be, it's it takes a left turn or a right turn or it goes backwards. And yeah, we can look at this as a negative, but so what now? What now? We're still here. We're still pushing, maybe forward or just pushing to get out of bed. So what now? And I love looking at situations through that idea of, so what now? 
So turning that negative what if into a positive what if, into a dream of what if. Now, for me, I get into negative mind space and mindsets um, more often than I ever admit. And so, yeah, I guess I'm admitting to everybody here. And these negative mindsets uh, bring me down. Recently, it brought me down to a place where my wife, Tanya, was asking, what's going on, Tim? And I, and I shared with her, shared with her some feedback that I'd received from a friend. And, you know, she was there and she heard it as well. And I, I heard the feedback through a negative lens. And she heard it through a very different lens. She heard the same words, but she interpreted it as, wow, what an amazing support. See, when we look at life, when I look at life through that negative what if, that just becomes my default filter. But what if, you see what I did there? What if we take these situations, we work out all that emotion, and then we pause and we say, okay, this is where I'm at. So what now? Yeah, I'm going into a facilitation. You know, the day I'm recording this, I, I'm working with a client and and it's a, a long workshop that I've created and uh, they've seen the deck that I put together and they love it. And I'm freaking out. I'll tell you on my next drill entry how it went. And, and uh, you know, I'm pretty honest, so I'll let you know how I felt afterwards and how it went. But the point is this is, you know, I feel like I'm prepared as, as much as I can. And I don't know what people are going to say, I don't know how it's going to land. So I can focus on the what if the negative or the what if the positive. And today I choose to look at it from that positive perspective. And if I get feedback, it's, it's a data point. I get to choose what to do with that feedback. So maybe you're struggling with your health journey. Maybe you are struggling with disclosure. Maybe you're struggling to create a disability inclusion policy or process in your organization and you're stuck in that. What if I don't get it right? What if I can't get out of bed tomorrow? What if I need to call in sick? Yeah, that's all legitimate. You know, honor that feeling. And then I would encourage you to, to reach out to someone. And if you don't have someone, I s- said it before, I'll say it again, uh, reach out to me. I'm, I'm happy to be a sounding board for you. And if I don't know the answers, I'll, I'll be able to connect you with somebody who does. Uh, it's, it's a guarantee that I can make. So as I wrap up this random thought that I have, what is holding your what ifs back? Now, it might sound a little strange, but, you know, what if I get it wrong? What if I can't advocate for myself the way I want to? Yeah, again, it's all legit. And you might get it wrong. You might not say all the right answers. You might be in front of your doctor and you fumble your words and you don't get the response that you're hoping for. We get another chance. You have another opportunity. So I I encourage you to maybe reorient your thoughts today. What is possible? What if you find someone to connect with? What if that presentation you're you're planning uh, goes well? What if you get the answers that you finally need? And, you know, uh, a friend of mine who's gone through an incredible health journey, and when they're ready, they'll be on the, on the podcast. And their story is, is one of adversity and resilience. And I can tell you that their what-ifs have, have been hard. But what keeps them going is they're, they're so grounded in their values and pushing for an answer. And so what if... In two years, you get the answer you need. What if in six months, you get that promotion that you've been searching for? What if you create a disability inclusion policy in your workplace and somebody reaches out and says, thank you? So 
you know, this is audio, so you can't see me, but you know, how do we turn those what ifs negative into what ifs positive? And ask yourself, so what now? Where do we go from here? So I'm going to go and take some of my advice, go and prep for my workshop and, and just dream about that what if. Hope you have a good one. And you know, it's a little call to action. You know, I would really appreciate it if you can take a moment, head to invisiblecondition.com slash subscribe. That brings you into the newsletter. That brings you into all the content that is being generated. And there's a backlog of articles. I'm working on a downloadable uh, PDF right now, just on disclosure in the workplace. There's a lot. There's a lot happening. So if you have a moment, I would, I would love it if uh, I could see your name over there on the subscribe list. So that's invisiblecondition.com forward slash subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate you all.